Welcome back, explorers. So now we have brought two branches back together in this family tree, so let's bring the last one back together and see what the conclusion will be. Rose, Fall 1919, Communication. So let's see, she got a key and won't give it over. So we can play with these board if we like. I guess we need to. William Vanderbloom. Hello, that's an interesting image. So can we make you scary too? Aldarius Vanderbloom. Okay. And we have some kind of an something that we can open. So William Vanderbloom. Can we type that out? Ah. Nope. Will. Back. Will. He. he um. Van. Der. First name is Will. No. Will. Yeah. William. What is your last name? Vandal Bloom. What is your last name? Vandal. Vander Boom, not Bloom. golden key so now we can open the golden box I guess even if I'm not sure if that I want to Do we have a key up here of course live okay and open the chest Time pieces, so we get all the time pieces for the tree, and then we get a gate. Okay. Sacrifices, rebirth. Hmm. Interesting. What do you want? What do you want? I want to live, I guess. Yeah, live. What do you need to live again? Uh, oh, Jesus. Sacrifice, I know, but sacrifices. I 
sacrifices. What do you need to open the gate? What do you need to open the gate? Oh. <coughs> Time pieces. See here. Nope. Uh, I in the wrong place. I'm not uh, fluent in uh, English, so my native language is Swedish. So sometimes. These words can be a bit tricky to go figure, uh, remember which order things is. I will help you. I will help you. Nice. So she will bring the timepieces together. So now we only need the last timepiece, I guess. Fall 1924, The Well, Part 2. Rose. Okay. So we have a bear trap. Have fire. So we can put the bucket, something in the bucket, and bring them back to him, I guess. And we got a cup, we got a worm. So I wonder if we need to remember. Do I need to put the mug where he pees? Of course I do. Of course you do! Yay! Cup with liquid. This game is so gross. Then we need a twig somewhere. So where do we get the twig? Ah, hatchet. Yeah. We need to hatch it more to get the twig. No. So that's the fireplace. Here. Please help me. Drink, food, wooden stick, get out. Okay. Haven't got the message yet. So will we get a message this time? Yeah. So this time we have those twigs. That means drink. You're welcome. Oh, Jesus. So now, this time we need to bring food. That's not the worm. And then we need a wooden stick. Yeah, he's down the well. You got it. Do you want the worm? <coughs> nope. So what do we do with the worm? Ah. And then we look away or... Oh, there we got something catched. A fish. <laughs> That's a weird one. Food. Give him food. No? Food, yeah? You want food? 
Get a fish. Oh, we need to cook the fish. Can't give him a raw fish. That would be not no nice. Can you light the fire? How do we do that? find matches or something so let's go for a pixel hunt <laughs> of course uh, so cook the fish look away and the fish should be cooked and we give him the fish fish bring it down so it's interesting to see this puzzle from the other end so now he needs a stick can we just take this back we can we give him the stick hello dude Puzzle solved. Yep, so let's continue here. Fall 1926, checkmate. We want to play some check. And we need another piece, of course we do. Okay, so. Low, high, low, low, high, high, low, low, high, low, high, low. Yeah, so we've got the chess piece there. Uh, cerebrum. Okay. I think that's a medical term for something. My wife will know, but I'm not, I can't remember it. So he wants him killed. Do you want the knife? No, you don't. So what do you want? Yep, you have the king. So you want him killed, okay. Crown. Oh, <sighs> Ser okay. Ser Ebram. Ser Ebram. So now we need to figure out how to go there. C E R E B R U Is it an M? How do I get to M? Hmm. Or is this mate? So C E 
R E C E R E B R U And the hard part is to get over there. Cerebrum. So in order to make him checkmate, I must stand over there. And then before that, I need to be at an R, so I need to be there. Because that's the only R I can go to. And I need to go to B before that. The only B is that one. And then we need to go to an E before that. The only one we can come from is that one. So, Ser E. Brum. Yeah, cerebrum. We got that one. <laughs> and we got the brain. Nice. We put the brain in the jar. That's another sacrifice. Nice. <sighs> so now we have everything except this one. So I wonder if we get that here. Frank and Rose. Spring of 1933. The Last Dance. So this is... Sanquis. 10 sacrifices, 10 family members, 1 rebirth. Sanquis. So they want to dance. We need a record in order to, for that to happen. And the record is in here, the lake suit. And it needs a key. So you, you want some melody. Yeah? And you want that too. You won't give me anything, so I get we guess we have a master puzzle over here. Okay. So this one should be easy too. This one seems very easy to hmm. uh, every other puzzle has been really hard so I guess these ramp up hmm. this one was a little bit harder Yeah, this one was a little bit harder, but still not terribly hard. Just need to do everything in the right order. Hmm. This one is a bit harder because this is one where you are damned if you do and damned if you don't. But I guess that this should do it. 
And we got the family record. Nice. We'll put that on here. Stop that. Put that on. Start them over here. One, two, three. One, two, one. Two, one, one, two, and three. Okay, one. Uh, what should we do? This one. It's two, two, three, three, two. One, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, and we got the key. Is it the key for this one? Got a different dress. Got a different record and address, so I will wonder if you want that dress and you want the music, okay? So now do the slow jazz. So now you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. In the name of love. Okay. You have a, an X on your finger. So what do I need? Need something. Do you got have that? You want some music. Yeah. But you don't. Do I use the record? No. Ah, we got the pin. Because the record broke. So now we can use the pin to get some blood. Is that the last part of our... Yep, a vial of blood. Ten sacrifices, one rebirth. <coughs> Now we only need the last timepiece, so let's do that one. The Graveyard, 1932. Okay, so we have Emma van der Bloom, Mary, Ida van der Bloom, Albert, Samuel van der Bloom, James, and we got Rose, I guess, here. And a dog with a bone. You. And we have a shovel and some pieces that we can put together if we like to. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't really fit. So that one we can't shovel for good reason. Shovel James, we got one bone. Shovel Samuel, we got another. Ida got another. So everybody got a bone in this. Oh, month and days. Hmm. Wonder. So, month flower. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. 
But I guess we got some bones here, so let's put them to good use. We, I guess that we have these arm bones here, so and then we have a leg bone over here. Another bone there. So there we go. So, oh, I see flower plus uh, whatever that is, and that's the months. So, I guess it's twenty two then. Twenty two, and the days over here should be thirty three then. 33 yep so we got a pin is it to open this one yeah crack that one and we got the last bone interesting so we put a skeleton back together <laughs> and the last timepiece nice so you want the timepiece, I guess? Yeah! Solve it! So now they converge into one part. So we have Leonard, Frank and Rose. Everybody got the timepiece. Spring, the roots. So now we have a time puzzle. Time is required. Nothing behind that painting. And there we have the Vanderblooms. And we have another where. So. A lot of different. Gave all these. Oh, the scale. So we will pick up the time pieces, I write. So we have them. Not really sure what we should use them for. You have a pocket. Anything in it? Nothing. Okay. So then we have this timepiece over here, the Alchemist Brothers, the Crow and the Dead Man, and we have the uh, Samsara. Will this open the gates, perhaps? Okay, so here we have all the different numbers. Okay, so we go back here. We need an S. S is an I. And there we have another I as well. So, where are the eyes? The eyes are there. Four and one. So. These are either 4 or 1, so let's put it like that first. And then we have M, which is the tongue. So where is the tongue? It's over there, it's a 2. And we got the E, and that's the tear. So I 
guess it's this one over here. It's either one or three. So let's put a one there as well. And then we have A. That's the brain. Which is a two. It's good to have some that are solid. And then the R, which is the blood. So that's a three. So there we go. So this could either be a one or a three. This could either be a one or a four. Hmm. S and I. Ah, time pieces. So everybody is a uh, quarter to two. That's interesting. Oh, and then everybody. No, those two have hair. Okay, interesting. But you don't. Why? Hmm. A quarter to two. Bring it there. So you go into the clock. Get consumed there. Interesting. This is still not open. So now these are open. I see. Ah, so we need these to weigh evenly, I guess. That's why it didn't work. Of course. Mm -hmm. Let's figure this one out. Does this mean that everything weighs the right amount now? Seems like it, right? We're just missing one somewhere. Can it be? Must be inside of this box, right? So, eyes are ones, which makes things hundred times easier. And then we have the teeth. Teeth are three. So that's right. And tears are four. And then brain is three. And then lastly, blood is two. So this should be right. Ah, well. I needed to figure, uh, look this up, which is a little bit sad, but in this case we see that James' tongue weighs one and Frank's hair weighs three. So in order to look here we can say that the tongue weighs one and the hair weighs three, which makes, uh, gives us that this actually is the opposite way around so there is actually a weight here that pushes it down by five and then you add the tongue which is one 
and the hair over here pushes down three and the extra weight three. So we need to inverse these. So the eyes actually weigh five. So these weigh five. And because it's six, so the, this shouldn't re, um, change, and the, these shouldn't change. This should be two, and this should be four, I guess. Yeah! Weird. And then we get the heart. Balance all the substance of your past lives, six. <sighs> so that was the thing that I missed. So then we have all the roots going down in the different vials. Interesting. So you're on. Uh, so the roots eats the different parts. Uh, take it, take it all. Oh, weird. This is a weird game. More roots. And even more roots. I wonder if the tree will grow and become a big tree or something. Hmm. Oh, there's somebody sitting in the tree. Who are you? Oh, so I will give... This guy an eyeball. And a brain. And some blood. And a tongue. Just throw all the things in there. And we got a baby. Time goes. More time goes. She got a baby. The end. So that was the last puzzle. Interesting. Congratulations, you completed the family tree. Click on more routes to find additional family secrets. The story of Rusty Lake continues, so follow this, uh, us on social media or subscribe on, to our newsletter. Interesting. Well, I must say that this was a very weird game. Uh, it had some somewhat scary overtunes and uh, some things were quite gruesome. So it's definitely not for children. But then again, it was very well animated, very well built. All the puzzles were quite intuitive. Um, there were only one puzzle that I had to do pen and paper to solve, and the last puzzle where I, yeah, I think I'm too tired to figure that thing out. Sadly, I'm, uh, recording this quite late. So, yeah, overall, a really good puzzle game. It's made in Flash, so it's uh, it's different from what I usually play. Uh, so it's much lighter, I guess. Then again, I think you could do this in any en engine uh, and make a really good game of it. So I think this was just the developers that liked the Flash engine or were well versed in building with Flash. And uh, yeah, I like the aesthetics, I like the design. Uh, 
a solid game. I uh, hope that you like this game as much as I did, and I really hope to see you in the next series. <laughs>